Hello! The other day I showed you how I make right there, I'm just having a wee clean up here. The other day I showed you how I made these wee bag toppers. I said I would come back and show you how I made the ghost and the Dracula one. So I'm going to show you the Dracula one today. If you remember rightly, you need two inch circles in the white. A purple one, or uh, sorry, a grey one, the same colour as your skin for Dracula. Two wee pupils, two wee black quarter inch ones, and I need a grey quarter inch one. Oh, I've took the punch away outside, haven't I? Right, I'll show you the cutting because I've lost my wee round nose. I'll maybe just cut one or, or draw it in. Right, I'll do this first. We'll do his eyes and things first. You see that there? Cool. Right, I have got this wee distress ink kit. Well, it's not distress ink, sorry. This is Memento and it's elderberry. And I'm going to get a wee purple thing for it. This one. And I'm just going to go round the edge of the white. Because if you think about it, Dracula's got a kind of blue or a purple tinge to his skin. A wee bit extra on the cheeks, remember? I started for the start. The other day I said this was a top note die. It's not a top note die. I'm sure it's labels 8. Still spellbinders right enough, but I'm sure it's the labels 8. And you just edge round the one end because if you've got hundreds to do, you're going to be there forever in a day going round the, the both edges. So go round your front end. Okay. And as I said, I put a wee bit extra on the cheeks. I like a wee bit extra on the cheeks. Score from point to point across the middle and that will give you your fold for the top of the bag. And then you've got your two wee white circles. For the eyes. Oh, can't lie, well done. The lady across the road today is having a Macmillan cancer coffee morning. The other day when I was doing these, I went round this with a wee purple blush. This is just the tops of these eyelids. Again, you can play around with your wee pupils, making whatever you want to look. I usually just kind of look down. But sometimes if I'm in a funny mood or whatever, I'll make them in funny and look up or look scared. Some of the faces the children come up with crackers. Right, you just cut your inch circle that you've edged in purple in half for the eyelids. Goes on the top up here. This one's the same. A wee bit of glue on the top there. On the top eyelids. And then it would have a wee nose. So I am going to... I'm just going to cut him a wee nose today. I'll give him a wee pointy nose, I think. But I normally always give them a round nose. I've taken the wee punch outside. So I'm just going to give them a wee point in nose. But it just shows you, you can chop and change. Switch it around to suit yourself. Do what you fancy. Right, now I'm going to get out my cutting plates here. 
because for the hair on Dracula, I like his hair to be the pointy hair. So you get your labels eight, get your dye again, and you're only wanting a spliff of the hair. <gasps> Do you know I've got that much post today? It's fallen everywhere. I'll maybe do a wee opening of that and get that out of the way in a wee minute. Is it everywhere? And I've got another wee project to share with you. Okay, dokie. So you're just putting your dye in. Putting your paper in, sorry. Putting your dye in. And trying to get... Right, I'm going to take it out because it's annoying me at the back, that's why. And you're just looking for a kind of even spacing around here. Now you don't want it too big because remember you've got your eyes and things down the bottom there. So you just want a wee bit. Where's my top plate? Oh there it's. I'm losing the plot today honestly. Right, and I'm going to run that through. As I said, I just want a wee scliff off it. And of course, keep that dye for the next time. Your piece of paper and your, your dye for the next time. Because you'll get two or three, well actually you'll get about five or six haircuts out of that, that one. Top note if you do it right. Labels eight even. If you do it right. Okay, see that? And his hair is just going to go on there like that. And is that not just Dracula looking at you? I think they are. I think they're great. As I said, these go down a rare treat. I do hundreds of bags every year and every year they go. I'm going to kind of put it in the middle. Put it up a wee spot. There you go. Look. Does that no look like Dracula? I think that's cracking. Right, remember your wee highlights here and here for his eyes. And his hair, I'm going to just do a wee one at the side just to show. I'll maybe do one at the middle. Like a middle shade. You know, there you go. And I'll do some wee black highlights on the corner of his eyes. There you go. So there's your Dracula bun. And that'll go on the top of your bag. Like so. Remember guys, if you like my ideas, if you like what I'm doing... Please, if you use these ideas, give me a shout out. Point people in the direction of my channel. Um, it's nice to be nice and give acknowledgement where it's due. If I do anything at all that I've seen or been inspired by on another channel, I always give the shout out. In fact, I don't think I've had to give a shout out, but I might have done. Anyway, please acknowledge the work of your fellow YouTubers. They work hard on it. Here's a card that I made this morning. I made these similar cards last year. I'm sure you've seen these type of cards before. And I was going to do a demo, but when I was making this card up this morning, I got a phone call through Messenger, so I just made it while I was talking. Right, you can see it's a 6 by 6 or the 5 and 3 quarter card. And it's there. 5 and a quarter. 5 and a quarter square. It is. Fold it in half and fold your front bit in half again. So you've got a Z fold card. The same with your strip at the bottom. Then I've done a gold strip and some patterned paper. I've edged the patterned paper with orange and black. Just to give the Halloween colours. I have die cut a boo. 
and it's got a full stop with the boo, the word as well. It all comes attached. So I've put a wee banner behind it just because it was getting lost on the spotty paper. And I've done the Halloween word with the wee spider hanging at the bottom. Wee spider there. And I've not highlighted this wee spider. Can I have that? Highlighting just makes a whole load of difference to things. Put a couple of wee highlights on the web. I'm all quiet, see that? Right, a couple of wee highlights, see the difference it makes. And there again, that's like a cameo head, it's a skeleton cameo head. And the mirror, and I was going to put gold in for the mirror, but you don't get gold mirrors, so I've had to use a bit of silver. But anyway, there you go. That's, the cards are lovely, they were very well received last year. Because I give my neighbours and my adults in the area and my mother and my auntie and that a Halloween card. <clears throat> a card for every occasion, really. And that's the card there. Okay, that was an easy make. I think I'm going to look through some of this post and see what I've had delivered this morning. I heard the wee post at the door when I was on the phone earlier on and it seemed to be there for ages. And I thought, maybe it is there, the post Oh, that's the new clips for our trailer tent. There was me getting all excited, thinking it was a heavy crafting bag. If this is all stuff for the trailer tent, I'm going to be crazy. Oh, no, 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 no. This is. Some beads I've ordered. There's still one in there. As you can see, I've ordered some Halloween beads, Halloween colours. I've got the orange, the purples, two different shades of green, black. So I've got two bags of each there. And I ordered the red for the red and the green for Christmas as well. I'm going to do a make with them and some buttons as one of my Halloween projects. I'm going to try and do 13 Halloween projects. 13's always been quite a good, quite a lucky number for me. So we're going to go, we're going to aim for 13 Halloween projects. And this is my wire. I ordered some 22 gauge wire. I've ordered it in the black and the silver and I'm just looking and I think I've got a massive roll of the silver there. I think it's the same gauge as well. Oh, honestly. Look at that. That's what you get for no checking. And I've got the red. Ordered the red for Christmas. It is, it's the exact same thickness. Oh well, it doesn't matter. The black for the Halloween for my project. I'm going to come on next week and do that because that's quite a big project. And the silver just for a contrast. So that's that. It's another Halloween project that, that I've got planned. Well, I only ordered that last night, and I mean quite late last night. It's Tim Holt's ideology, but it's the Halloween ones. Harold Spot. Chronicled from time to time. Fire, burning cauldron, bubble. Secret black and midnight, 13. Oh, that's quite good, that. Lost in the woods, a small grinning skull. All orders promptly attended to. The uninvited guest, but she still shudder, shuddered in utter despair. Her eyes were dark. Her trustful eyes looking straight into his. Oh, it's like a man's novel, this. D 
deep in the secret chambers of my heart. Right, folks, to let you know, I think this was four ninety nine, there or thereabouts, and it was on eBay. And it was the Tim Holtz ideology, and it's a Halloween one. There's four sheets in it, so there is. Yeah, four sheets, four different sheets by the looks of it, which is quite good. So, I would have tried them on that other card this morning. Oh, this is China Post, so I'm wondering, this might be a dye or something. Oh no, it's no. Oh, look at the size of them, my God. Look at the size of them. Holy Toledo. I'm not even going to be a mill. That's inches. Three millimetres, maybe. See the size of that? No, I'm way off camera, see it? Three millimetres. I think it says there's 200 in here. Can't even, oh, my fingers will not enjoy them. It's the size of this, folks. Can you see it? Look. Toty. Anyway. They would be quite good for snowflakes, probably. You know, like snowflakes falling. That would be either sticking to the bag with static. And this here, I quite like the look of these. These were definitely, these are the size they're supposed to be. A centimetre, 10 mil. You see them? And you could thread a wire through and put it on a wee seed bead. Let's have a wee play here. Bit this wire. Right, I've not got my wire nippers inside, so if you just twist, twist, twist the wire, it comes off. It's a wee tip for you. This isn't strictly a seed bead, it's just a wee tiny bead. I remember I told you my husband got his car keys and house keys and all that stolen while he was at his work. Somebody had broken into the works van. Well, the police got the guy because he had tried to break into somebody else's van. Well, a, a different independent person altogether. They tried to break into his van in the beach, down the beach. Oh now, see that wee glass bead just broke off because it's a long one. What I need is a wee tiny one. A wee round one. And this is me just skittling about here. Many minutes am I at? <gasps> I think I'm just about out my time. Let's see how we go. So yes, aye, the police got them. They phoned my hubby and let him know that the police had got them. But they hadn't done them with that because he didn't own up to that, obviously. He just owned up to the other one because actually went in the van, started the van, tried to drive it away while the guy was cleaning it. So there you go. But anyway, my hobby's work have decided that they're going to pay for the replacement key, which is over £100 for your car. Because you've got to go and get it coded, right? You can see what I'm trying to do, but I need a thinner wire. So I would need to get to my garage and get some thinner gauge wire. Right there, it's going to go, it's going to go. I think I might have some tools in this drawer. Indeed I do. So let's see if we can squeeze it. No, as soon as I squeeze this wire, the bead snaps off. But anyway, you could do that. See that with your wire? And leave that sticking up. Focus. And then you beat that onto your project. So there you go. 
That's my buys for today. These, I don't remember much these were. They were only a pound odd or something. Maybe two pound odds, I think. They be tiny beads they I don't remember what they were, to be honest. I really don't remember. But I have to say, I only ordered them on Sunday. And things are coming super fast for China. It used to be a couple of weeks, but I'm finding that they're coming maybe definitely within the week. I would say about five days. Maybe less than five days, actually. What was that? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. That was three days for China. Come on. You don't get things for three days for England. Ireland or Wales. Come on, let's not show any discrimination here. British Post can be pretty slow and pretty poor as well. But I'm quite happy with their beads. These were a UK purchase. I purchased them from the UK and I think the seller was on this. Did I not see the seller? There it was there. You see that? Beadcraft. I'm taking it that's Wales. Must be Cardiff I think. So that's where I got the beads from and the beads were, I'm going to tell you, £1.3 a bag. £1.3 a bag they were. Okay. That's this for. This one is for. The wire was 99 pence a roll. So these three here are 99 pence each and there's 10 metres in each roll. And it's 20 gauge, 0 0.8 millimetres, 20 gauge. As keep an eye out next week for a big project coming with them. Okay, folks, my time's up. I love yous and leave yous. As I say, if you like my ideas and you want to give them a go, please just give a wee nod out to myself, a wee shout out to my channel, say where you've seen your inspiration. Um, it's much appreciated. We're all struggling to get where likes and things and whatever so bye for now and i'll see you again next time